Hi, thank you for taking the time out to listen to a brief presentation about digital CRM or digital customer relationship metrics. I am Raja Mitra and I'm going to take you through the next few minutes of this presentation, essentially telling you about the need for some of the tasks that we do, uh, what we do exactly, the deliverables and the benefits of what we do, and a little bit about us. So let's get started with this. Let us first look at the need and why some of this is necessary at all in the first place. We have a table here which gives you a quick overview about the internet user population as a percentage of the total population in numbers. But very quickly, if you take a look at Asia, here are some of the highlights. The internet users in Asia are about close to a thousand million, right? And then these are figures from about a year back. The penetration as a percentage of the population is still a little lower than 25%. So a lot more have to get on in the coming days. The growth over the last decade uh, from 2000 onwards has been over 700%. Here is looking at some of those figures as a pie. Now, Asians account for 44% of the total internet users across the world, with Europe following, uh, following with about 23% and North America with about 13%. Here is looking at some of the facts about social media. Now, as of about middle of last year, the total number of websites was estimated to be over 230 million. The mobile access for social media is on the increase, and it was estimated that over 250 million people alone access Facebook through various mobile devices. YouTube, for example, has over 500 million unique visitors every month. Twitter is counting at over 300 million users. Google Plus, which was launched just recently in July 2011, has over 100 million users currently and is adding an estimated 20 million users, new users every month. And Facebook, the total number of active people and pages on Facebook is 840 million at the last count. So as you can see, visibility on the net is no longer an option. It has become mandatory and social media is mainstream and is being both used for personal and professional engagements. So the web and social media today are being used for marketing, customer support, community building and ensuring customer adherence, loyalty. It is also a far more cost effective media and, and medium compared to conventional old school marketing methods. Now some of the major challenges in this whole thing are that due to the very high numbers that we've spoken about, the noise to signal ratio is often very high, so you could get lost in the noise. Attention spans of users uh, or people on the net can be notoriously short and going away from a website or from a social media page is just a mouse click away. Now, in your face marketing techniques and spamming over the uh, last several years have made a large number of users very wary about this whole thing and wary as well. So you have spam filters and you have blocks and all kinds of devices to keep people out from intruding. Also, given the sheer number of sites and pages and other content on the net, ensuring recall and repeat visits is becoming increasingly difficult. Now here's a quick look at the areas that we cover. So we are into social media and network planning and management. We handle search engine optimization and marketing, which is in short known as SEO and SEM. We handle the website design and layout and content management as per best practices in terms of usability and readability principles, and also in terms of visibility, optimization of websites and mobiles, 
to essentially achieve the desired objectives of the organization. We also do integration with conventional marketing, customer support, with help desks, and we implement and customize CRM systems as required. We use analytics at every stage of the process to, to plan strategies, to measure effectiveness, and most importantly, to effect any mid-course corrections if they're required. Now, here are quickly some of the deliverables and the benefits of social media management. It ensures visibility, it builds up an engaged and enduring customer base over a period of time. Now, none of these happen instantaneously like with any marketing. The, some of the other areas like site design, layout, SEM, SEO, integration with existing customer engagement systems, implementation of CRM, usage of web analytics, all re uh, lead to enhanced reach and effectiveness of marketing, customer support, promotions, events, and channel management where applicable. And you can achieve all this a lot more cost effectively compared to old school conventional methods. You can also continually fine tune your strategies, plans, and effect mid cost corrections if needed based on an analysis of the data and the customer base. Now, very quickly about us, we have extensive experience of handling products and services in multiple areas like IT, telecom, white goods, consumer goods, in the South Asia, Asia Pacific, and Middle East theaters. Uh, across the top management, we have extensive experience in the areas of sales, marketing, business development, account management, customer support, projects, and operations. Together with our associates, we have a lot of domain expertise in the areas that we handle, and we use current best practices in each of these areas. We also are practitioner consultants, and we remain involved and engaged till tangible and measurable results are visible. These are our contact coordinates, so do get in touch with us. Do have also a look at our page on Facebook or on Google+, and you can follow us on Twitter. We would have a lot of interesting content that we share, as also you could look at our blog, which is known as Digital CRM's blog. Details are here. Thank you very much for taking the time out to listen to this presentation.